Hello guys, Delta Guy 306 here today, and welcome to the finale of how to build a cruise ship in Minecraft. So, I have to say a couple things before this video starts. <clears throat> um, first off, I tried to film this video while I was building the ship, but here's what happened. It took so long that the video file got corrupt, and the pretty much the video could not have been used. The audio was completely out of sync with what I was doing. So, here's what I'm going to do instead, because I know you guys need to know how to do this stuff to build your cruise ship. I finished the entire ship. The entire ship is done. Um, so I'm gonna basically I'm gonna go back over. I'm gonna show you guys what I did and how I did it um, for each of the stuff that that was supposed to be filmed for this episode that just got corrupt. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So today I'll be going over the spa, the gym, the Lido deck pools, the Lido deck restaurants, and um, some miscellaneous stuff on Lido deck. So let's go ahead and get inside of the ship. It kind of sounds messed up. Let's get inside of it. <laughs> I'm so mature. Okay, so, start up here first of all. So on the front of your ship, you're gonna have a lot of blank space. Now, as you see what I did right here, I just added some lounge chairs because I think that that's the best, the best choice for this ship. Now, you can make like an adult only area like Serenity, like Carnival has, you can definitely do that. Um, but it's really up to you when it comes up to here. But lounge chairs will always, always work. Always remember the lounge chairs will work. Um, I also made a windbreaker that breaks the wind basically when you're sitting. Um, so that uh, you might want that as well because it's very important that, that you, the wind doesn't hit your passengers. So that is uh, the meaning behind that. Um, and also, really quickly, I do actually want to say one thing. There's been a lot of comments on this series that say, well, this isn't a tutorial, you're not doing it block by block. Well, the point of this video, or the point of the series, was not to make it block by block. That's not a tutorial, that's copying. There's a difference between teaching and copying. That's just like going into a classroom and copying the test answers. You're not actually doing it, you're just copying it. Um, but this is supposed to give you ideas. This, this whole series is based off inspiration, and quite honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed that so many people didn't take it that way. Um, because in reality, I know you guys brought up like Lord Dacker, um, you guys brought up Jack Thunder. Those guys, they're great guys, but they don't, all they do is teach you how to do it block by block. That's all they do. They just sit there and rebuild what they already built. The point of this series was so you guys can get some inspiration and some really good ideas, you know, to, to bring onto your cruise ships or stuff that you know, hey, I like that, so I'll put that on my cruise ship. I mean, there's stuff that you can copy, I mean, but it's not really meant for that. If you want to copy the ship, all you have to do is just copy the Minecraft folder over and put it into your saves file. Or just go on to Islandcraft and get a schematic of it. I mean, it, you could, that's, a, that's a better way of copying it. Um, so yeah, that's the point of the series. I just want to get that off really quick because it really was starting to bother me uh, that people started saying that. So that's the point of the series. If you don't like it, yeah, honestly, too bad. Uh, this is the way it is, and I know a lot of people like it this way, and I hope that this series was a success uh, to a lot of people, because I know a lot of people liked it. Um, anyways, besides that little rant, let's go ahead and move on. I'm sorry, that got, guys, that was just really bothering me. Um, I built a basketball court as well. So behind the radar dish, I had some open space area. Now, again, if you're going to make an adults-only area, make the whole thing that, but since... I didn't. I decided to make a basketball court. On the inside, I didn't. I don't know basketball markings, so I just made a line in the center. Um, but I made, a, as you see, I made a basketball hoop and bam on both sides. And it's just an area where you can, you know, play ball and everything. Um, and if you notice, I made cobwebs all the way around it. The reason I did this is because on a cruise ship, it has to be completely surrounded, or else, the, or else that ball can potentially go into the water and it can be contamination. Because um, the cruise lines can get sued for that. So uh, that is why you do that. Um. Anyways, moving on. Um. Right here, make sure you make stairs up to here. And as you see what I did with the stairs, I just uh, made like a slide thing and then the stairs go in the center and the glass. I mean, the glass just goes with the glass up here. So keep that in mind. I also made lounge chairs because lounge chairs always go very, very good. So let's go ahead and go into the spa. The spa area, if you come in here, I made a salon room or where you get your hairdresser. So you want a reception area for this. And I made two on either side or one on each side. Um, and basically, this is the reception area for the top of the deck where you can go into the actual spa itself or you can go into the hairdressers. So, you want to make sure that you make a desk. It's pretty obvious. And you also want waiting areas. Anytime you have reception, make waiting areas uh, like these chairs I made here, made out of cobblestone. Make sure that you have those. It's very, very important. Um, and here, as you see, I made these giant bulb things. I don't know what they're called, but I know I see girls wear, use them all the time at a, at a haircut place. Um, they put them on, the, you're sitting in a chair and they put it over your hair. I just made those. All I did was just put the glass pane behind it and then put the, uh, the glass block right there. Um, and then right here, what I, I 
uh, blah. I made the mirrors. Now, I know it doesn't look good. You guys can, uh, what you guys can do is you can make a wall in the center and make these guys back to back, and that's what I should have done. But, um, all I did was just put glass panes in there and it represents the mirrors. And then right here, the little tripwire, that represents the uh, blow dryer. And then the button represents the cabinet. And all I did was double stack the slabs, put a cobblestone stair upside down. Double slack the slabs, uh, the cobblestone stair upside down, and then just alternate the buttons in the chirp wire. And that's all I did with that. You guys can feel free to copy that all you want. Um, and then you also have the carpet on the top. And then also right here, I just put some shelves because they, they can sell their products. Um, and again, it's easy. You just put four slabs up and then cross it over like that. So it's very simple. And it's the same thing on the other side because I did flip this, so I'm only going to go over half of it. Okay, so in here you have your steam rooms. Um, when your steam rooms, when you build these... There should be a door right here. I don't know whether there's not. I'll put that in a minute. Um, make it all wood. Make sure that it's all wood all the time. And it's usually a solid color around it as well. And it's glass. And I put a furnace in here just because it represents uh, the hot or the heat. Um, but make sure you have your glass in there because for whatever reason, steam rooms have glass. So make sure that you do that and make sure that your, table, or that your seats go all the way around. There is no room for comfort in there. Alright, so I put two of those guys. And then in here, I put in the massage rooms. Again, I don't know why there's no door there. I'm going to fix that when I finish the episode. So basically, in the massage rooms for the spa, what I did was I put a table like this, which upside down where people would lay down face down, and then they, uh, the person that does the massage has these these uh, cabinets to work with and the table where they can do their, or they can put their, uh, whatever they use. I don't know if they use, like, acupuncture or the rocks or whatever. And they can use them in these cabinets, and all I did was just put some light wood down with some trap doors and I also put a light in here make sure you have light but one thing that I did in here is I kept the if you look at my paneling if you look at what I did I kept the wood very dark and it's because it's calming and peaceful it's the way it should be when you're getting a massage so keep that in mind when you build your massage rooms and I built three of these on each side so you want to have a good amount of these because a lot of people on a cruise ship do want a massage um, and then right here I just made some storage because I had some extra space and that brings me to another thing whenever you have extra space use it for storage um, I mean, if you just can't think of anything to fill it up, just put storage in there. It will work perfect 100% of the time. So, um, listen to that. So, in here is the main gym. Now, I don't know how to make anything else but treadmills, so that's what I did. So, to make treadmills, all you gotta do is you got two carpets, like this. Put them down, get a, or get a fence, put that down, and get a slab. That's all you gotta do. It, it's very, very simple, um, and I just lined the whole thing with that. So that is what I did with that. I just put a wall right here because it covered up the white. Now, if you have white beams like this kind of sticking out randomly, I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily cover them just because it's going to look kind of bulky and stupid if you do. So I just keep them normal uh, white because it shows the beams. Um, right here is a support column, which I don't know why I did that. It should be in the center like that. Um, just because it's a wide open room and you want to make sure that you keep it open. Um, right here I made some water fountains. I got some hoppers. And I put strip wire on top of it, and I know it kind of looks like a sink. I guess it could be that too, um, but you're supposed to drink from it because it's a gym. You get water, and as you see, I kind of made my wall kind of spread out like this, so um, it just pops out. And then I also put some design up there, so you guys can definitely do that design as well. Uh, you can do that in your ship. Now, in here is one of the uh, locker rooms. This one's a female locker room. Now, when it comes to locker rooms, you can do a lot of things. When, when it's your shower, what you want to do is you want to get two dividers. And step around like this, and you want to put in some chirp wires. This represents the nozzles. Now, keep in mind, this is a female bathroom. In the female bathrooms, you can divide the stalls. It is it is not unheard of. However, it's very inefficient. But it just depends on what you want your privacy to be like inside of your ship. It just really depends. For the ship, for my purposes, I just made them all together because honestly, that it's a more efficient way of, of designing. Um, you can fit more showers in. You, I mean, if I would have separated, I'd only be able to do two. And if I do all of them, I get four. So um, keep that in mind, more efficient. Um, and I also put hoppers on the bottom to represent where the water would go when, when they're showering. Over here, I made some lockers, which all I did was double stack some slabs and put some buttons on it. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, that's that. And I put some towel racks over here as well, because you want to make sure you have towel racks because uh, you use a lot of towels on cruise ships. And back here is just some sinks. And for the sinks, if you want to make a nozzle, what you could do is you can get some levers. And you could... Uh, oops. You can do this, and uh, you have some sinks. So there's that. Um, in here is the reception area for the gym, as you see, or spa. Um, this is just another reception area, one out of three. As you see, I made a uh, kind of an overhang type thing right here to go along with the dark wood. 
And that is something you definitely want to do. And also keep in mind, if you notice, the floor that I've been using in the gyms has been blue. Anything that has to do with athletics, a golden rule of thumb, use blue. It's a very, very good tool to use. And inside of the gym, or inside of the locker rooms, use this. Uh, this is mushroom, or mushroom stuff. Now, you can't use it if you don't have world edit. And to get this, all you do is you select area, slash, slash, set 100. That's what it is. Um, that's the number, that's the ID for this block. Now, if you don't have world edit, then you're going to have to do it, something otherwise. Um, but there's that. Um... So, as you see what I did with the stairs, I just pretty much covered all the stairs up so that you go into the spa and it's the last floor. Um, let's go ahead and head out. But yeah, just keep in mind the detail um, and look around. I know this is the first episode that I haven't actually built the ship, and again, I do apologize, but I really don't want to go and rebuild all this. So um, just pay close attention. Alright, so now we are out here into the pool area. So what I did for the pools is I made... The main pool like this so i made it one block high but it looked dinky if you just have one block sitting there so if you notice i put some sandstone stairs and surrounded it with sandstone and then put a border around it so this way it kind of looks like it just slowly levels its way up to be a pool instead of just being like bam there's a pool um so that's one thing that you can definitely do and it doesn't have to be sandstone slabs but keep in mind that if you use wood wood gets waterlogged very easily so be careful with that um, as you see with the hot tubs, I did pretty much the same thing because I wanted to keep the design consistent. So make sure it's consistent. Also, you notice I put some lights in the bottom because when you're at night, that's all you're going to be able to see is the lights. Um, and I put these nice little huts over top. So as you see, these are just poles that are about three high. There's six of them. And then I just made like a type of, like a cone type thing going on. Um, it's kind of flat, but it works just well. And I got that idea from Carnival Cruise Lines, but, um, you can definitely use that as well. And it's a great thing to have because it makes it more cozy and it makes it more... Uh, enclosed in a more of a, kind of like a private space like a hot tub should be. Uh, if you notice, I put these tables down. It's simple, just four, ta or four chairs around with a fence and a carpet in the middle. And make the carpet the same color as the pool as well, so it's, a, it's consistent with colors. Um, I put these lounge chairs. Lounge chairs, lounge chairs, lounge chairs. By the way, lounge chairs everywhere. Make sure that you have them everywhere surrounding the pool. That's very, very important. And the lounge chairs, again, are simple. They're just stairs with the slab. Over here are some umbrella chairs. Um, Pretty much, it's just the same thing, but you put the fence up three high, and you put a block on top of it, and you just put four blocks around it, alternating uh, red and white. And then you get some umbrellas. So it just it provides cover. The only problem is that you don't have an actual table there, so that's why I don't like using them. Okay. So, up here, I made a miniature golf course. All I did was drill holes into the floor, and I put this green stained clay in there, and I surrounded it with some slabs. Um, and that's pretty much simple. It doesn't really have to be a specific order. It can be completely random. In fact, you don't even have to have 9 holes or 18. I don't know how much this has. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This one has 12 holes. Um, but you can make it anywhere. You can make it anything because they're not really professional courses at all. So, you, I mean, there's a mini golf. So, you can't. You don't have to be really specific with them. Um, and I put a post right here that represents where you're supposed to start putting. Uh, that you can definitely do as well, which I've seen a lot. Okay. <coughs> Moving on, back here I just put some lounge chairs because I thought that was the most appropriate thing. You could put shuffleboard down if you want, but I think that it's nice that you can look back on the back of the ship seeing the ocean. So that was my thinking behind this, and again, just simple lounge chairs, uh, very simple. And on the back, I did the same thing with the pool because I made it a little bit smaller. Same idea. Now I kept this one circular. <coughs> Excuse my coughing, I just got over sickness. Um, I kept it circular. Uh, same with the other pool, it's consistent and it keeps the same pattern as well as the hot tubs except this one I actually merged in with the pool. With the hot tubs, again, they're consistent. Make sure that it's still consistent. Um, same idea though, it's still the same kind of hut thing. Six poles, three, or these ones are too high each because they're smaller. Uh, as a smaller pool in general, but keep that in mind uh, when you do your pools. Definitely keep that in mind and make sure you're consistent. Um, and again, with the lounge chairs, just make sure the lounge chairs are everywhere, people. Uh, that I just can't express that enough. Make sure that you have lounge chairs everywhere. There's a lot of people on the ship that want to lay down. Um, so make sure that you have that down. Okay, so now we're moving into the Lido deck, or the Lido restaurant. So this, you want to make sure you have a lot of tables everywhere. So if you notice, I made a divider and put all these errors just lined up. And these are just back-to-back, back-to-back, um, and they're fenced with a carpet on top of them. And the carpet, I would use a very, I would use this a very formal carp or very formal setting so I would make it darker but it's completely up to you because I like to use the wood floor and the dark wood I think it looks nice um, if you notice over here I've used the uh, the, the leaves and uh, the leaves in the ender brick and I've shown you guys how to build these in the series before I think it was on the promenade episode if you guys haven't seen them but yeah it's just a, 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 it's an end portal with an ender or an ender egg with a leaf on top that's pretty much all it is and then if you come back here you see the actual restaurant now if you notice it's a very long 
very long restaurant, so I put these pillars in between here to separate it. So let's say maybe you get burritos here, you might get a salad right here, you might get some meat back there. It just really depends so you can actually enter the line for those specific items. Now back there, I haven't built a kitchen back there yet, but in that area is supposed to be a kitchen. If you guys want to do that, or you guys need to do that, look back at the kitchen episode um, where I built the kitchens. If you guys want that, I'll put the link in the description, uh, or if you just comment me or email me, I'll give it to you guys. Uh, so that is, uh, that's the thing behind that. And if you notice, I keep the I keep the lighting, lighting kind of sparse in these areas, but just, just enough to keep it lit, so keep that in mind. Um, right here we have some more tables. These are just different types of tables. I'm um, really nothing special. Same, again, you see my, I'm consistent with the leaves. And if you see this pattern here again, which you've seen this pattern several times before on the walls and throughout the ship, it's there again just to keep it consistent. Again, consistency, consistency, consistency. Um, you have to be very, very uh, consistent with your cruise ships. Um, but yeah, as you see, I just put these tables in in the blank spaces, and I do apologize. Paul is ruining this episode again. Thank Paul. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much... It's pretty much it that I can think of, um... That, you, that I can really go over. Uh, I'm Again, I am very sorry that this episode was not me actually building, but that video got corrupt. Uh, I Again, sorry. But I do thank you guys very much for the support of this series. And I, I know this video kind of seemed rushed, but I'm, I'm ready to... Uh, I think I'm ready to end it. It's been a long series. Uh, it's been over a year. It started in August. It's been crazy. But I thank you guys so much for the support that this series has gotten. It has gotten way more support than I ever imagined. It is by far the most successful series and the second longest running one on my channel. Um, and it has been a great uh, pleasure filming it for you guys. So, if you have suggestions for a future tutorial, keep in mind, future, put it in the comment section below and I will, and I might, uh, I might do it. But as for right now, I think I gotta take a break from tutorials. I think I've tutorialed out. But again, I cannot thank you enough. Thank you for the support for this series. The first video has 200,000 views. That is crazy. Um, the link for this will be in the description whenever I get it on Planet Minecraft. The only problem is I forgot my account credentials and the email I used. So, oops. But I'll figure it out eventually. And, uh, yeah. That's about all I gotta say. Come on Islandcraft and see the ship. The IP is in the description below. And as always, have an awesome day. It's been a great series. <laughs>